Okay, we're going to design the last type of output that um, you could design with FilePro. We've already done a label. Uh, we did a kind of a form, a form, full form. We've done a list, which is record by record. We've done a list of totals and subtotals, data. Let's do the last one remaining. The new, we want to call something. How about if we make something called dealer increase? Okay, and FilePro wants to know what type it is. The only thing we haven't really done is a processing only format. Remember that I told you that four other pro other printed outputs is not used. It's an appendage from a long time ago. I doubt it ever will be used. It's just hanging out there for no reason. You have the three choices. You could build a report, which does subtotals and totals, mailing labels, which are nicely formats labels, or a full page form of any kind. This is a processing only format. There's really nothing you can put on this to part of the design screen, you just, except if you wanted a password on it. We don't. We'll just press escape, escape. Do we want to sort it anyway? No, not particularly. We just want this processing to run against every single record, um, possibly in the file. We don't want to sort it in any way. We just want it to run against all the records. Um, there's no format to draw. We're not going to print anything. We don't have to put any stars or asterisks anywhere, rather. We don't have to... Uh, do anything in terms of printing, but we do have to design the processing, so we'll press F8 and press P for processing, and we get the standard processing form we're used to. You notice that at the bottom right it is called dealer increase, and uh, there is actually an output format called dealer increase too, but it's essentially uh, an empty format that just says I'm only a processing output, I only have to run processes, a process against every record. All right, what do we want to do? Let's look at the fields. Um, you can do just anything you can pretty much do on a processing table except put up a screen or something where uh, you can't do certain things that are only available in inquire, update, and add, but you can do just about anything else. You can take input from the user. You can have him or her type things at the keyboard. You can add and subtract things. You can blank out fields. You can look up fields from other files, add things together. There's just it's absolutely unlimited what you can do. And let's see, the dealer discount field here is uh, customer discount is field 21. What I want to do is give every dealer who has a discount an extra percent. Let's say if they have 10 percent as their discount, we want to make it 11 percent. They have 15, we want to make it 16. Very simple. So we want to just say, first of all, they have to have a discount. We don't want to give people who have 0 percent discount a 1 percent discount. We only want to give People already have something a little more. So here's 21. That's field 21 is the discount field. We'll say if that's greater than zero, we want to do this. And what we want to do is say, we want to take what's ever in field 21 and make it equal to what's ever in field 21 plus one. You notice that this, uh, this 21 is, a, is the value in field 21. And this is the literal one. We're adding a one to what's ever in field 21. We do that by saying this funny kind of thing. 21 is equal to 21 plus something else. If this were algebra, this would make no sense at all. In algebra, you say a equals a. You would never say a equals a plus 4. You know, it's impossible. a equals itself, not self plus something else. So you can't think of this in terms of algebra if you happen to be a math whiz. This is, this is a processing language that allows you to say, I want to take the value of something and add it to itself. What's ever in there, take itself plus one and leave me with the total. Very simple. If that, if this is not true, this, if they do not have a dealer discount already, I will fall through to this if line, do nothing and end. This is a very simple process. We're just going to run a one-line process to show you that running an output is the same. It can run a, an actual process against every record. Now let's run this process. Well, first of all, let's go look at the data before we run it. I'm going to go into the file and I'm going to press browse and let's put field uh, 21 on the browser. Watch out, by the way. I put field 21 on the browse right next to field three, which is the company field. And I press this escape, escape, and view these fields. See how that's uh, pretty close to the company name, and you really you see the five and the twenty-five. They were sort of goofed up. When you do a browse, you can do something like this. You can just put a uh, pipe wherever, or some any character wherever you want to stop the previous field. So we'll put a pipe there. So now it will look like this. We kind of separates things out a little bit. 
and we can still see where the, the discounts are. There are about five or six people in our in our database here that have discounts. Uh, 10, 5, 20, um, 15, 10, you know, etc. They're all sort of divisible by five and there are just a few of them. Okay. Let's run this rep let's run this process. We'll do request output. Um, it shows us all our outputs. There's five, we don't want that, we don't want that, we don't want that. This is the one we want. Dealer increase. We'll run this process. Do we run it when it gets an index? No. I'll hit enter. Do we want to sort it differently than it's sorted by default, which is no sort? No. Do we want to pick every record? Well, really, no. Why run this process against every record? We really only want to run it against the people who have a discount. Yes, we, we already protected against that in the processing table. We already said that's the only people we want to increase by one. But let's let's also only select. I'll hit Y. Oh, I said yes for everything. So I've just processed every record. Does it matter? No, because we wrote our processing in such a way that it's only going to do it on the records we want. Only the people who have a dealer discount greater than zero will have 1% added to them. Let's go look and see if that's true. If I go look in the file and I look at some of the discounts, let's put it on the browse again. Put it at the end of the browse. Oh, look, there are 11, 6, 21. This, these are now, every all the ones that used to be divisible by 5 are now increased by 1. FilePro ran a process against all the data without printing any output. Very, very important. Probably something you're going to be doing, I would say, 80 to 90% of the time you do, do act against your data or manipulate your data. You will not need to print something. You'll just go out and do it. There's something very important you have to do generally before you manipulate data in this way. We'll tell you about that in the next lesson.